I hope you are having a great day. Well, with this current epidemic of the coronavirus all over the world, especially China and other parts of the world, and people who are living from China, we need to understand how it works so that we can take corrective and preventive actions right now. It involves your immune system and as we know that this is a virus which has never mutated in humans before which is why there is no current solution for it. So prevention is the best way. How can we keep our immune system strong? It's not just going to help us with the coronavirus, but everyday bugs that exist all around us, pollution, contamination, and food, all those things right now. So we need to understand that coronavirus affects the upper respiratory system. Basically, some of the symptoms that you need to look out for are runny nose accompanied by fever, cough, sore throat, basically a general feeling of unwell, breathing issues and inflammations in the lungs, not to be confused with pneumonia. So we need to understand that this virus has an incubation period of about 14 days. So if you have any of these symptoms that are persisting for over 4 to 7 days, you must take medical intervention immediately because the faster you solve this problem to boost your own system, the better it's going to be for you. So let's go over a couple of things we can do right now to boost our immunity. The immunity of our parents, immunity of our family, immunity of our kids, little lifestyle changes we should Irrespective of any virus happening in the world right now. Number one is washing your hands. You know we grew up with this habit. But today people have forgotten about it. They take out a really cheap hand sanitizer. They think by sanitizing their hands, which is actually taking out all the few microbes and lowering their immune system. The good old hand washing with soap and water is the best way to do it. If you're traveling, you don't have access to that. You want to use an essential oil based sanitizer that will only take away what it needs to take, leaving your microbes in place most of the time. Keep your hands and fingers away from your nose mouth, eyes. If you constantly have the habit of playing with your nose, your eyes or rubbing face, you want to make sure you don't do this without washing your hands. Of course, you want to avoid close contact with people who have these kinds of symptoms. Avoid crowded places. If you must be in a crowded place, it's safe for you to use a mask at any point in time. Avoid consumption of raw foods at this point, especially raw vegetables, raw meat, raw eggs, etc. And like I said, wear a mask. If you can especially in pains and crowded places. Now let's talk about the top antiviral foods you can add to your diet right now. Like I said, whether you are sick or looking to boost your immune system, the one thing we need to ingrain into our subconscious mind is your immune system is your first and last line of defense in the human body. Your kids, you, your parents, your immune system has to be strong. You can be the fittest person but you still can get seriously sick. If you have a low immune system, number one, garlic. We need garlic is a powerful antiviral.
my arm. You can eat it raw, you can wash it and put it in your drink, you can put into your soups. You can mix it with a tablespoon of honey. In fact, chopped garlic, salt and honey would raw anti-stress honey two or three days and have the garlic of every single day. It's a fantastic way to boost your immune system to fight viruses. Star and spice is a flower shaped spice. This contains something called chicanic acid. The same chicanic acid is used by pharmaceuticals to manufacture something we call Tamiflu. As you know, Tamiflu is used for the influenza virus. Chicanic acid in the star anise is super powerful as an antivirus. So you need to understand you can take star anise and boil it in water and eat to your tea. Add it to your tea eat. Boil it with your tea. Make a concoction, make an infusion. If you are brewing green tea or black tea, you want to put that in or put it in your food. But the best way to extract chicanic acid is by boiling it. So this is great for your system as well. Ginger. So if you just mash the ginger, you put star anise, you make a concoction out of it. That at a little bit of raw honey, that is great for your immune system and viruses at any given point. Coconut oil, you can cook in pure or pressed coconut oil. Or you can have it even raw. This contains capillic acid and lauric acid. Two components which are essential in boosting your immune system to fight virus. And then we have Resitrols, rich foods, you find this in black grapes, raw cocoa, supplements, raw pistachio, black raisin, and of course, glass of wine, which I don't advise you drink when you are sick. You will find it in strawberries, vitamin C rich foods, almond, lemon, citrus, green pepper, yellow pepper, red pepper, and vitamin C supplements. These are the quickest ways boost your immune system right now. There is a beautiful antiviral soup that we put a lot of our cancer patients, especially post chemo, because their immune systems are very, very good. So you have sweet potato, garlic, spring onion, parsley, and rosemary. You make this into a soup. And it is fantastic for boosting your immune system. Now, antiviral herbs are like oregano. These two abundantly in our country. And you can buy the dried oregano, dried thyme, dried tulsi, or even the fresh tulsi. These are highly antiviral, and you can make a tea out of it. You can put it in your carries, but they are great for respiratory health. Now, in case you have and you find that constantly you have a lot of mucus in you. The sooner you break down this mucus, the better it is. Because the more mucus you have in your lung, you're creating a breathing ground for viruses, bacteria, and pathogens. So a strong immune system also relies on very little mucus in your system. The easiest way to break down mucus is your system is the use of ginger, garlic, taking a tablespoon of thyme, taking a tablespoon of oregano, making a tea out of this, and drinking it. Not using up the mucus and then you can cough it out. Or if you have a really You can also use essential oils in 
him a special oils. Like thyme, oregano, sage, eucalyptus, and sister are these essential oils. Get them in a diffuser. Keep them in your room. Because the more you keep inhaling this, the more mucus leaves and breakdown happens in your system. Over and above this, come on to keep your immune system strong. Maintain your vitamin D3 levels. If you know vitamin D3, you know in immunity. So please understand no amount of popular food capsules or even super food will help if your basic vitamins are deficient in the immune system. You need good vitamin D3 levels. You need a good probiotic or prebiotic because you want to keep your guts healthy. The healthier your guts, the stronger your immune system. You don't have to do probiotic or prebiotic supplements. You can just get it from your natural prebiotic foods like apple cider vinegar, honey, and garlic, sokra, people's vegetable, or you can get your probiotic from yogurt, rice kanji, beetroot kanji, or supplements. The quickest way to lower your immune system and the quickest way to boost your immune system is get off white sugar. Zinc and selenium to boost your immune system and can be found in supplements and can be found in almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, pistachio, and salted cashew nuts. So these are the things we can do coupled with good exercise and proper sleep. Your immune system stronger when you are in a state of complete rest which is when you are sleeping so you do this and apply your own human intelligence to protect your and hopefully all of us will be safe out there have a great day thank you